Hey guys, this is Chase Allen. I am a solutions engineer with Ntopology, and today I'm going to go through a very brief demonstration about our extrusion constraint for topology optimization. Um, as many of you are familiar with the typical top op workflow in Ntop, we can start off with our design space. And from there, we can do our first step, which is turning this into a model and assigning material properties. And then the next step would be to select an optimization objective. In this case, we are looking to minimize compliance or maximize stiffness subject to the following loading conditions. And you can see on the screen here, the yellow arrows represent an applied force and the pink dots represent a displacement constraint, again applied to this um, boundary, bounding object or design space. After we've selected our optimization objective and our forces, um, we can choose a design constraint. So in this model, I'm demonstrating just a typical design constraint um, to reduce the volume. And in the next model, I'll show how our extrusion constraint can be used to create a uh, result which is easily extrudable. So in this case, we are just uh, our optimization constraint is a volume fraction response and ideally less than 30% of the initial volume. What this does is produces a result um, as seen on the screen and this is a uh, element density result so we can play with the threshold of the element density. Once you've selected the proper uh, threshold for your topology optimization and potentially run a, a post top op analysis to verify its uh, structural integrity we can take that topology result and turn it into our native implicit format, which looks something like this. And once in our implicit format, we can very easily apply some smooth in operations uh, to create more usable geometry. And from there, we can go ahead and produce a quad mesh and then export this as a step file, which can be imported into your traditional CAD software and used in amongst any of your assemblies. So again, this was the topology optimization result um, without the extrusion constraint. And you'll notice it's fairly limited to either complex uh, CNC milling, but more uh, typically um, additive manufacturing. Now I'm going to jump to a second file here. And what you'll see is this file is um, identical to the previous file in terms of our bounding geometry or design space as well as our forces applied to the design space. Um, nothing actually changes in this topology optimization until we get to our optimization constraint. And in the optimization constraint, we now have both a volume fraction response where we'd like to, re our target volume is less than 30% of the initial design space volume, but we've also entered a extrusion constraint. And the extrusion constraint utilizes curve one which I generated in the above here, and you can see on the screen. So essentially, you just have to input a uh, curve, and this can be simply a curve through points um, using uh, basic points here, and to demonstrate the axes of extrusion that you would like your topology optimization to be extrudable along. The results um, can then be seen at the bottom here, and you'll notice they look quite different uh, to the previous results. So again, the added constraint for uh, extrusion in the, in this case, the Z axis um, changes the result significantly. And from this, again, using the same procedure, procedure uh, previously talked about, we can turn it to our native format. Isolate that guy here. And we can apply the same type of smoothening techniques. And then we can actually uh, take a section and extrude it. And this will allow us to generate um, a very extrudable part, again, with, the, uh, with having undergone that topology optimization. So ideally, the best performing uh, structure for that specified load case to maximize or minimize compliance. And from here, we can, again, qu quadrangulate the mesh and uh, produce a step file for, again, export into CAD and to place among gear assembly. So I hope this gives you guys an idea of what you can do with the extrusion constraint in NTOP. Um, 
please feel free, free to reach out with any questions you may have. Uh, this file will also be available to download on, um, on the attached article. Thanks very much. Have a good one.